Hey everybody, this is Derek, and this is a tutorial on how to use EngageSpark to send information to people and collect information from people using their mobile devices. And uh, it's a little bit of a different technique from a lot of online survey tools because your audience doesn't need the internet in order to uh, participate in this process. It leverages SMS technology and voice technology. So it doesn't even matter if your audience member has an internet connection um, or a smartphone for that matter, as long as they are able to send and receive SMSs and get a phone call. Um, and this is pretty helpful in development contexts or when your audience isn't necessarily um, hooked up to the internet. EngageSpark uh, is a SMS and voice campaign tool. So um, you can use EngageSpark to contact large groups of people and it has a bunch of pretty interesting features. Today, we're just gonna look at one very simple um, uh, feature in the tool, which is to conduct an IVR survey, but there are a number of other features that are worth um, exploring. Uh, for now though, let's go into the dashboard. I'm, uh, if I go to Engage Spark and look at my dashboard, you can see that I've already added some funds. It does cost money to send people SMS messages or to conduct voice campaigns, but sometimes these campaigns, depending on where you are and what the telco is, uh, can be pretty cheap. Um, you might be just play paying cents per minute for a phone call um, with people, which, um, you know, if you're doing it at scale adds up, but if you're doing it for, um, you know, uh, just a few hundred people could actually be fairly cheap and a cost effective way to reach out to your audiences. If you go to new campaign and go to voice IVR survey, you can start the process of creating uh, a voice survey. Um, so in this case, I'm going to be sending a call to somebody I'm going to res be responding to that call and using my voice and pressing buttons on my, my dial pad. So the first thing you do uh, is compose a welcome message. And you can click the record button here to record the, the audio clip that people hear when they first pick up the phone. Hello, we're conducting a survey. Please answer the questions below. And then if you want to play your sound back. Hello, we're conducting a survey. Please answer the questions below. Um, and if you don't like it, you can re-record. Then you move on to question one. Um, and in this case, we're going to be doing a key press response. So we're going to ask people to choose either or and press a button on their phone indicating what it is that they want or want to choose. So in this case, I'm going to ask people their favorite color. What is your favorite color? Press one for red or two for blue, press zero to repeat the question. What is your favorite? Okay, great, the, uh, the sound file went through. Now we go down to the choices. Actually, before I choose the choices, I'm gonna choose uh, some options about how to handle the call if there's an issue. So for example, I can have the question repeat if the user presses a key, in this case, it's gonna be zero. If there's an invalid key press, say they press three or seven or nine, I can also choose to repeat the question. Um, or if somebody just doesn't respond at all to the question, I can hit timeout, no reply, and again, replay the question. But you can see there's a bunch of other options here. I could just hang up and, and send them an SMS message, I could, um, subscribe them to another campaign saying like follow up to these people later. There's a bunch of stuff I could do. In this case, I'm just going to replay the question. Now, um, in question one, I made it a, a key press response and basically I say, okay, the only values that I'm interested in are one or two. So choice number one is red, choice number two is blue. And you can see that I have uh, potential actions to uh, follow up on, um, depending on the responses. So you can have branching logic where some people, if they respond one way, get one set of questions, and other people who respond another way get another set of questions. So let's see how that works. I'm going to make another question, and it's going to be super simple. Um, uh, 
uh, it's going to be a spoken rep- response question. So now it's going to listen. You're going to speak to the, the phone in order to give uh, your feedback. Um, what is your favorite red object? Kind of a silly question. Okay. This question is specifically about red things. So I'm going to say um, that people should want to jump to question two. So now if somebody says their favorite question is red, they're going to give me, um, they're going to get the red question. And if somebody's question, uh, let's see. If somebody uh, answers blue, we don't want to hear any more information from them. I'm just going to hang up. Um, I'm going to play an audio message saying, thanks very much for taking this survey. Goodbye. And then I'm going to hang up. Actually, no. We'll just leave it at that for now. Okay, so now I'm going to message myself and I'm going to edit out this stuff so you can't see the phone numbers. Um, but I'm just going to make sure that um, I'm going to select the contacts to receive this message. In this case, me. And I'm going to hit next. And I also have the option to retry the calls. I can also schedule the calls to take place on a specific time or date or only happen in a certain time frame. So you don't want to call somebody at 2 a.m. You can say you only want the message to go out between 7 and 8 p.m. or something like that. So I'm going to click launch now and set off the survey. So now I'm gonna wait to receive this message on my phone. Now this could take a couple of minutes um, because the system needs to uh, decide. Oh, so I'm already getting the phone call. Hello, we're conducting a survey. Please answer the questions below. What is your favorite color? Press one for red or two for blue, press zero to repeat the question. In our case, I said that I wanted, um, I had another question set up for red, so I'm going to say one red. What is your favorite color? Okay, it, it waited for me. <laughs> one for red or two for blue, press zero to repeat the question. I'm pressing one. What is your favorite red object? Uh, I really love red hearts. I think they're special. Um, I could also set up a a little bit more text to like actually say what. <laughs> okay, uh, I just did the campaign. Uh, w- the best practice would be to say thanks very much and hang up uh, at the end of the question. But I didn't do that for this survey, and we're gonna love the sound file because it's really just gonna be me talking. Um, but okay. Survey has been complete. Now, what do we do with this information that we've got? View campaign summary, and you can see I have reached out to one contact, one voice call has been made. Um, That voice contact uh, chose answer one, uh, which would have been red, uh, and then we gave uh, a voice breakdown, which you can't actually see at this point. What if we want to get access to the data at scale, though? Okay, I'll go back to the campaign. And download campaign report. There we go. So you can see, uh, since our campaign uh, just featured one person, it called me. Um, And then um, you can see that their answer to question one was one, and then here's the sound file, which I should be able to access in the browser. Uh, I really love red hearts. I think they're special. Um, I can also set up a, a little bit more text to like actually say. Okay, yeah, that was my response. Okay, so this is a quick tutorial on how to use EngageSpark. Uh, It's a fairly user-friendly tool. You don't need to be a techie in order to maintain it, which is why I recommend it to people who use, um, who need to contact people via mobile devices. It's a really good tool for collecting information from people who largely don't have access to the internet. Um, Just, you know, (laughs) there's a lot of 
uh, other details that you need to keep track of. You need to make sure that, you know, you have the consent of the audience to contact them. There are ways that you can um, compensate them for their time by using top-up credits. But for now, this demonstrates the basic functionality of the tool. I hope it's helpful.